how y'all doing? Now I'm back here again. And uh, the last video, I showed you how to set up a retro game console using a uh, Raspberry Pi and this uh, collection of um, kind of pre-built uh, software onto a Raspberry Pi image called RetroPi. Now, the default look of it, you know, it looks, it looks, you know, it's pretty simple. It looks pretty clean, but what, look, look, we want to make that look a much more interesting. You know, we, we want, we really want to get like when we turn it on and like actually interface with it, it's like it actually wants to be, you know, kind of hype you up to want to play. So I'm going to show you how to uh, browse the themes, install new themes, as well as um, you'll notice when you turn on RetroPie, um, after kind of like a initial boot, it kind of shows like a little like a little splash screen to like wait while it's loading. You can change that to something else too. And I'm also show you how to browse and choose a new splash screen. Uh, before we get started, uh, be sure to drop me a like and subscribe if you've been enjoying my content. And with that, let me show you goods. So this should be okay. You'll notice this looks significantly different than the last time I showed you this. So this is actually uh, my RetroPie uh, that I've been using for quite a long time. And uh, you'll notice this theme looks very, a lot more interesting than the default theme. Uh, just so we can get a comparison, if I go to, I think it's UI settings and theme set. Yeah. Um, this is the default one called Carbon. And if we go back and let it reload, um, and we compare it, see this, um, it's much more uh, basic, I guess word for it. Um, if you go inside, you can see some metadata. Actually, you can't because my face is in the way, but you know, you already saw this in the last video anyway. Uh, but then you compare it to the one that I have that I was using uh, called SNES Mini. And we back out of that. This is far more visually interesting than the other one. Um, and even the actual like uh, the game menus are far more interesting. Uh, you have the, the metadata over on the right hand side, um, the box art on the left, and you have some information about when it was published, who published it, all that neat stuff. Um, I think this theme, as you hear, if you can hear it, maybe just barely, um, it actually has some audio. Uh, might be too quiet to hear it in the video, but it's just like a little beep, 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 you know, little sounds. So, how do we actually find this theme to install it? Well, if you go to config, and you go to, I believe it's uh, emulation station themes. This is how you're going to browse and install new themes. So we're gonna go into this. Now you can browse this with a controller, but it's much easier if you have uh, just some a spare keyboard laying around. And I have like this random Apple keyboard laying around, which is what I tend to have paired to it over Bluetooth. So by default, you only have, uh, I think just the basic themes installed. If you want to install uh, new themes, you have to um, either install them separately and poke a cat here, please. And uh, if you want to uh, browse, smack a shit out of you, please sit down. Uh, but you won't really know what these look like. So there's also an image gallery. Um, and I think you have to, yeah, you have to, I think initially you have to install the image gallery. Uh, and then once that's done, you can actually view it if you would like to. Um, so once you're in this screen, um, I wish you could just like go through a whole list, but I don't believe you can. Uh, so by default, it kind of does like a slideshow, but that's like that's like way too slow. So if you hit H, it'll bring up like a little uh, help menu to show you what you can do. And uh, one of the things I usually do is hit P, pause this, so it doesn't just keep auto playing through. And you can do a couple things here. The probably most useful ones here are um, P, obviously, to pause the slideshow, uh, escape to just, or yeah, escape or uh, Q to quit. Or if you're using a controller, I believe it'd be whatever you mapped as the B button. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, if you want to just go to the next image, you can hit um, J or K, which if you're familiar with Vim key bindings, that's basically like up and down. Uh, if you want to jump to a specific image, uh, again, this is another like Vim like key binding where you can go like, I want to look at image uh, 120, like 23G, and it'll go straight to the 23rd image. Uh, the way that you'll know which 
uh, theme you're actually looking at is you'll see there's like a little box down in the bottom corner. Uh, this is actually displaying the name of the uh, the image. The name of the image is always the same as the theme. So, like if we're kind of just going through here, you'll see this one's called like uh, what is it? Simplified static. Uh, can't really read that one on my screen. Uh, yeah, but this is how you would kind of browse through it. Uh, another option, if I show you real fast, is if we go over to the website, uh, the documentation, if you go to uh, themes, not only does this also basically just explain everything that I was just explaining, um, you can, they have the theme gallery right here, actually. This might be easier in general to use because uh, it even has like the name of the name of the theme and then the two images you usually see which is the system view and the game list uh if we look through here you will see the um the one that i was using mocha what the fuck are you doing and um where is it uh yeah okay so these are the ones that i was using so that i think these are all three made by the same dude um, and they they all look really cool. There's a, a Super NES theme, a NES theme, and a Famicom theme. Uh, there's 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 tons of other ones, and uh, you just you know just pick the one that you want. And uh, so let's say that you've actually found one that you like. Like uh, what is this one called? Uh, there was one on this list called uh, Mario Blue. Let's go look at this one theme called uh, Mario Blue. So I'm gonna put out of this. I'm going to go to, I think you basically have to just kind of scroll through here until you find it. It's going to be super hard for me to see this. Let me, uh, give me one sec. I'm going to do this so that I can actually see it. Um, Mario Blue. Mario Blue. So let's say I want to use this theme. So I just come down here and I said, okay, and it's going to, uh, pull the repository that the, all the, the data about it is, the files and images and stuff stored. So it's going to install everything. Might take a minute depending on the theme, because I think some of the themes have far more in them than others. And okay, it's in there now. So if we want to use this now, what we should be able to just do is go back out, get my controller again, and I hit it's back out all the way. So if I hit, Go to UI settings and the theme list. There should be Mario Blue. So we're going to hit this and let it update. Might take a minute. There we go. And now we got the Mario Blue theme. It actually looks it's pretty nice looking. I don't know what this screen looks like. Oh, that's not that's that's neat. It's even got sound effects on here. Uh, the text is kind of hard to read, but okay. I'm going to go back to uh, mine. I really like that Super NES theme a lot. Uh, I'll, I'll show you the NES theme real quick too, just to get a pre, you know, so you can kind of get like a live view of what it looks like. The other thing I like about this SNES view is it has like a bunch of uh, kind of like uh, rainbow retro art of like the consoles in the background. I thought that's pretty cool too. Uh, so if I go to, oops, not that one, uh, theme set, NES. Th these two are fairly similar in the way they kind of look and overall it's just this one has like a more of a retro look to it i guess is the way to put it uh let me look at the game list screen yeah yeah i don't know if i'm hiding any of my info in my behind my fat head but you know if you're that curious you can just install this yourself and look so there you go that is how you would install uh, browse and install a theme now what if you want to change the uh splash screen when you're loading uh, it's a very similar thing, with the exception of I don't think there is a, um, like a theme list, like a, a a splash screen list on the documentation site. You might just be able to. I don't know if all those things are in like a big repo somewhere you could go look. It might be, but if you want to go look at them, there is this thing here called splash screens. Uh, keep in mind, I do believe uh, this option is only available if. This is actually installed on a Raspberry Pi because you can technically install RetroPie on something that's not a Raspberry Pi, uh, but then you, this splash screen doesn't really uh, take into account then. So the screen is going to look very similar to the themes. Um, there's a couple things you can do here, as you can see. You can 
choose which one to use. Um, you can just turn the, the thing off. You can have it so that it randomly picks a splash screen that you have installed to use. Uh, if you get sick of whatever one you chose, you can have it just go back to the default one. Uh, you can change, I think, the list of splash screens. I'm not really sure what that one is. Uh, and so uh, by default, there's only like a handful of splash screens and you have to download all the extra ones, which takes a while because it's like basically like a huge list of images. And I already have them installed. And if you want to uh, preview them, you can do this two different ways. Um, you can look at individual ones, which is kind of what I recommend. Because this is basically the same as the um, when you're browsing the gallery of the themes. But unless I'm being dumb, which I, is all possible, there's no real way to like easily go through um, and see all of them at once. You have to just kind of like flip through the slideshow. If you want to look at individual ones, uh, then you pick to see that these are like the default ones and these are that big list of extras I said you had to install. And you can just flip through here and see what, uh, what you got going on here. Um, Final Fight. There's a Final Fight themed one. That's neat. Um, when you're done looking at it, you hit Q to go back. Oops. Yep, we're going. What have I done? Please go back. There we go. <laughs> this, I think I, I had this one. I used to have this. It's all blew me. Uh, oh, it's just okay. uh, there's a there's a duck hunt theme one. I think the one that I have installed is uh, that I was using as like an Animal Crossing theme. And I forget uh, where I found it. There's a bunch of F Zero ones. Uh, F Zero might be thing. This one. That thirty. Oh, maybe the F Zero is the name of the person that made this. It's a neat. So basically, you would just you would do the same thing as uh, the other one. You would just browse through, see if you find one that you like, and then after that, you would go to choose. Because um, when you, I think this isn't like the themes where you have to like in, individually install each one. I think it just like poof, it just like installs everything all at once. And then at that point, you can just you know pick whichever one. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna use the blow me one, uh, and I'll show you what that what that look like. So. Now that I have changed this, if I if I reboot this, so this is gonna go black for a second. Uh, click. If I turn this back on, uh, it should show that splash screen after a brief couple of seconds. Just doing initial boot. Blow me. <laughs> oh yes, old jokes. And that's how you change the screen. Um, if you have the randomizer on, I believe from all the ones you have installed. I don't remember if you have to pick like whether to use the defaults or the extras and it'll just like, you know, every time you start up, it'll just pick a different one. So there you go. Now your retro game console looks much more interesting to interact with. Um, by the way, this whoever made this name, I forget what the name of it is, you demand, you, you demand. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop me a like, subscribe, share the video if you want, if any, think anybody else would benefit from it. Uh, if you want to find me on other places like Discord or Twitter, I got links down there. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, and I love you so much, there's some links down there below to do that as well. And with that, y'all come on back now, and I'll see you next time.